there ladies and gentlemen guys gals and non-binary pals uh, welcome to another video uh, I tried to have a painting video last time but the light was acting kind of funny okay let's see here today we're gonna be painting some burrows and badgers figurines this one here is my girlfriend's otter pirate he is called Hercules and he basically is um, he's a bigger creature um, and he's her number two Number two, of course, in the game is like in certain war games when you have leadership. Oops, sorry. Uh, you have leadership, you have a leader, and then you have a number two, and this uh, is important to morale rolls. Silence that. This one here is uh, a mouse knight. Um, this is Janet. Uh, I'm going to be painting her too. She's mine. So I wanted to paint this one because this one's definitely got a lot of really good details on it. Let's get focused. There we go. Look at that. That's cool. So. I think the first thing I'll do is, uh, first thing I'll do, let's take these hit. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to paint this, I'm going to paint the ground and I used a very, f I used a fine sand because what I'm going to do is a beach right here actually feels really nice. Um, I'm gonna paint that a sandy color. So, what we're gonna do is let's find. Yeah, this will be good. This is a makeup brush um, from the brand Elf. You can use pretty much any makeup brush, and this is gonna be a dry brush. And there's plenty of videos out there. <coughs> on how to do dry brushing and so you can look that up if you wanted to and so I'm using a plate as my uh, palette because it's smooth and it's wide and it's, I mean I, I'd rather it be gray but white's fine too um, I've decided to prime my miniatures in white at least these ones particularly because I want the colors to really pop one I did a while ago, it, it was um, uh, primed in a dark gray and it just did not look right. So I think let's to get this kind of sandy color, we would probably want a little, maybe like a kind of orangish color. Let's get some yellow right here. I usually put just little bits of paint down. I don't have a wet palette. I don't really use wet palettes. I didn't even know what a wet palette was until I found out later. So I'm just going to use little bits at a time. And the great thing about dry brushing is you really don't need that much. Because you're just using the minimum. You're loading a lot into your brush but you're not using very much. Let's get some white there. Might need that white for some more stuff. I think I might need to get a new brand. This stuff seems to be a little thick. I tried squishing it up and it doesn't seem to, 
doesn't seem to really want to squish together. I think it worked a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just find a better white. <clears throat> and maybe just a little bit of magenta. Just, just so that we can maybe get a slight orangish tint. Let's put that right there. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna mix it a little bit. We'll take one, like one of these. I don't know what size. I don't know what size this is. Let's get a little bit more centered. There we go, it's a little better. So, we take probably just a little bit of yellow. This yellow is very strong. Put that in there. And that white there. See, look, look how just, how yellow it's already gotten. It's almost maybe just a little too much. That yellow is just so strong. And beach sand can have various different colors, but it's not pure white, like our, like our primer here. Let's just take a little bit of magenta. That might be enough, maybe too much. Oh boy. That was probably just a little too much. So you get a bit of a pink. colors uh, mostly because I wanted to challenge myself with uh, making colors and also I just never really got around to making uh, buying more colors I'm kind of liking that that's actually more of like a like a peachy color hmm or what if we use a little just a little bit of Probably not. Get a little more magenta. No, that probably didn't work. You must excuse me, I'm a little under the influence. What am I under the influence? took some edible and I'm just merely drinking a soda water helps with the stomach please excuse my paint mixing skills I'm not a professional Let's take a little black. The black is very strong as well. I might have messed that up. White was an okay foundation. Clean that. Okay. So we want some yellow. We want some 
magenta, more yellow than magenta. Mix that up. Just like highlight with some yellows and some whites so kind of get your brush a little hydrated and you try to get out as much as you can and then we're gonna take that we're just gonna fortunately I can't show you off screen my little board but that's okay well I'm just doing the standard dry brushing method and you just kind of brush it see it's almost my perfect flesh color that's crazy but let's just dab it in there yeah that's actually looking let's get this over a little more in, in line with with my actual hand there we go yeah that's better we just take some of this we'll wipe it off wipe there a little extra but we can load it up doesn't hurt and, and that white seems to kind of Give you guys a little bit of that action there and we just dab at it that's a really nice color look at that color you see there's the pure white and then we have that that light color it's actually not a terrible sandy color kind of like that we're gonna do a beach scape with this gonna put some neat little shells and we're gonna do a water effect that's gonna be fun we're gonna see how that turns out never did it before I'm gonna be using a hot glue I'm gonna be using hot glue to um, to get that effect uh, to make it look like water I really do like that color that color turned out really good and we just get a lot of a lot of that in there just load it up in there the great thing about dry brushing is that you can just put ever so slight amounts of it but because this is terrain we can load it up just a little extra it won't hurt and then of course, you know, if I see I have just too much, I'll just I'll just wipe it away. Help spread it out. The great thing about dry brushing is it gives you that um, that airbrushed effect. Now look, see, see just a slight difference in coloration. very nice. 
nice. And then I almost feel like I could just leave it like that. I really like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, eh, maybe we get a little bit, just a little darker of that. Dab it. Yeah, there we go. Because when you're dry brushing, you want to have like variations in color and tone. See, look at that. Now that looks a little more realistic. I like that. I love dry brushing. It's just so very simple. Let's clean our brush. And let's see. Now here comes the fun part. That's the funny thing about painting is that you, you kind of get those moments where you're just kind of apprehensive, like what's gonna be the what's gonna be your next move. I think I'm going to do. I wonder what color his shirt would be. I'm gonna give him some bright colors. I know that my girlfriend wants him to have like a purple, royal purple, like um, bandana. And I know she wants him to have like a navy blue or darkish blue, like jacket. Um, and then certain things like, you know, she wanted like, you know, certain, the metal part, some of the metal parts to be like gun metal. But I'll leave it up to my interpretation. Let's make him really bright though, because I really want these colors to pop. So let's go with, let's, uh, brown is gonna be one of my last colors. Browns are pretty difficult to me to get right. And it's darker, so it'll kind of go over certain things. Um, yeah, so I think I'll do, the shirt in kind of a yellow color or in yellow I'll just make it like yellow yellow you know that might be nice this yellow is very bright uh, it's called um, project process yellow it's a little it's a little translucent little translucent so you can kind of see through it okay let's just get a little bit actually one of my favorite products is this I haven't made any I know we're getting kind of low I either gotta make some more or we gotta buy some more this stuff is really nice though just put a little bit like I'll put some right there and then um, take it, just take some of this, dab it into there, that yellow, just to thin it out. Not too much, this stuff is very thick. Mm, maybe just a little bit more, yeah. It's hard to really know exactly what consistency you wanna go for. I would probably say that this is like, um, maybe as thick as pancake batter. People want to say milk. I feel this is probably equivalent to like a, like a, a yogurt, maybe like a, like a liquid yogurt or a buttercream maybe cause it's kind of thick. Well, let's get this yellow here and just, yeah, give them a nice, and blue and yellow goes really well together. Then 
use the yeah the little wood brush it doesn't have a very deep bristle count so it's gonna not hold as much paint with whatever I give her because she she's always happy with a lot of things I do and blue and blue and yellow go well together and there's gonna be purple and the yellow goes well with purple and it'll go well with that brownish color and if you get like a little bit on it it's okay just do the best you can to either cover it up or you can take like a q-tip and use your solvent with whatever you have you always want to thin out your paints of course like a, a blue we need like a need a little bit of a little bit of magenta gets because cyan definitely oh wait we're we're running purple uh yeah she wants navy blue so take a little bit of that just a little bit yeah see that just makes it more purplish which is what we want look at that get that navy blue color a little more just a little bit yeah there we go that looks good. And then we're gonna just um, put a little bit of this. Maybe need more of that. 
Okay. It's not as bad. Probably should have spaced out the colors a little bit more. That's the thing about the blue. It's not it's not uh phthalo blue. It's or it's cyan, but it's process cyan so I guess these process colors mean that they are supposed to be kind of like um, transparent semi-transparent oh, that might be good let's see what happens if we mix all that magenta in there yeah yeah I'm kind of liking that yeah, that's a little bit, that's not pure cyan, so that's good. Okay, let's get this, clean that off. We're going to use that to apply. And then we're going to take this, mix it in. Take some herb to uh, kind of jump start. Let's go in one direction to help even out everything. this with a white gloss and then I sprayed it with uh, a matte finish to give it some tooth definitely want the cuffs to be something maybe an
because yellow is very polluting. All these colors are very strong. So I'm going to go black, so really I don't mind if I get anything on anything that will be metal. Because unfortunately metal does not, does not take too good to white. It needs black.
kind of looking like a kind of like a British soldier a little bit. I wonder what his story is. Like how did he become to be Captain Hercules? It's thickening up a little bit. That's not bad, though. It's still pretty thin. Yeah. It's not streaking too bad. Look at that. Look at his arm there. And then just take some of that excess paint. pretty good there's some blue okay got that nice dark more of a color we'll put that inside but mm. hmm I want to say gold yeah I want to put some gold in there that look really nice and she says she wants silver for most of the metal pieces. So, where I see silver. So, what's the next? So, well, I think we're now starting to get into the the brown face. Hehe, <laughs> bring him his red pants. Yes, that's what we do. We will give him red pants. Bring him his red pants, better than his brown pants. For those of you who know that that joke, there was a captain on a ship, and his one of his one of his crew says, "Captain, the British are on the starboard side." The captain says, "Bring me my red pants," and the boy without asking goes and brings him his red pants and one of the other crew members who knew didn't understand what was going on he asked somebody he was like why do you want his red pants another guy said well so that when he goes into battle they don't see him bleed and he said that's a good idea a minute later the, the same crew member says captain the Spanish are on the starboard side. The captain looks and he says, Son, bring me my brown pants. So we're going to give him red pants. And now we're going to make this red. We're going to take some magenta. And we're going to take some yellow. Just a little bit. And that reddens it up. Take some 
you could say we're kind of making an orange, but really we're making a much redder red. It's, it's a bright red. So that yellow died out. And then we're gonna... Oh, that's white. The white ain't right. Basically, I'm just adding yellow until it looks almost like it's just uh, before it becomes orange. And I think that's pretty good. It looks that's like a good red. So we're gonna go and just oh, yes before we do. Unfortunately, these drops are relative to the bottle size. So let's take some of that off just so we don't load it up. Now I need to make sure. Okay, those look like the cuffs. So we're going to put it right there. He's the most garish looking pirate. stuff is drying pretty quick too. That's a good thing. So then I can quickly apply. I think I'll rather just focus on one at a time. Normally I'll switch back and forth between bottles because it allows the paint to dry. Maybe give some black leather boots. Yeah. Give some black leather. Because I was thinking, it's like, man, what 
What if he had the sexy boots? Sexy pirate with the sexy boots. I mean, with a name like Hercules, you know, that's got to... That's got to say something about, you know, that he finds... I mean, look at his shirt. You know, he's got a bear up. Yeah, he's a gay pirate. Or he's just, like, a lover pirate. But basically, he's a sexy pirate. Sexy pirate with the sexy boots. Potato chip. Potato chip. These are the lay stacks barbecue version. They go. So we still got some black. Clean out the brushes. Yeah, you don't want any of that. Oof, that blue is, excuse me, strong. But this black is very strong, so it may be fine. Look at that, just like, it's beautiful, beautiful black. Beautiful black color. So fucking black. Makes me think of like, calligraphy ink. So we wanna apply this black to the sword. All over the sword. Don't worry, we'll get to the purple. That blue looks dry. It uh, looks still wet enough. Gotta make sure. Okay. Cover up that primer. This sword's gonna be fun to paint because of how big it is. This fur is going to be a um, almost like a grayish black. I 
tell you what, these models are definitely worth every penny. Michael Lovejoy, he, he deserves to get paid what he pay, he charges. It's a very good quality. I'm really just more excited getting to getting to paint him. So we want, we want to get as much of this black as possible. And what did I say? Oh yeah, his sleeves. We're gonna paint his sleeves black so I can make them gold. The one problem with the white is that it does not like just like thins it out so bad. We're gonna give him bright golden give him bright golden sleeves. He's gonna be the most fanciful pirate. Sailing the seven seas for that booty. I've come for your booty. I've also come for your treasure. thin paint that's when it like shows all the detail this and put that there. Now we're going to add something. Um, let's take some yellow. some of this black and we're going to mix in the black into the yellow because we want a more yellowish black so yeah let's make that more black because black is so strong that you got to think about
to be pure black. Wanted to give it that that slight look like it's not entirely black. Yeah, that's good. Let's clean that off. It's not too, it's not too black. It looks like it's got like a little something in there, you know. That's what he wants. He wants that little something, something about him. He'd be like, "Hey man, what's up with his boots? Oh, it's black with some yellow in it, bro." Yeah, he's gonna look cool. I might do something about them red pants. I might put like a little. Figure something out. That's uh, maybe that's a little too much. Let's put a little red in that. Oh no, that makes this brown. We don't want no brown pants. No, that's not gonna happen. Now we want to make some leather. Let's make a leather, leather brown. So to make that, we need. All 
all three colors and it did varying amounts. And we don't need a lot of it. And if I need to, I could cheat a little bit, use some black. A little too much yellow, but it's okay. Okay, so now we need, let's need a better brush for mixing. orange. Then I'll take some cyan. Cyan is tricky. Because it's making kind of a green. So then that, what that means is we need to add a little more magenta. Because brown is made when you take one color and it's complementary. green and red make brown so greenish needs more magenta and that's a pretty nice brown color I would say that's like a leatherish brown we can get a little cyan just to deepen that a bit actually we can cheat and take just a little bit of black oh yeah now there we go for a glide you know it's the, the certain right amount of glide it's not like it's too sticky but definitely not too wet and uh, you know that's the problem you just gotta experiment the 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 desired result you're looking for though is paint that goes on flat and does not leave lines or streaks if it's leaving lines where you see your undercoat, that's because it's too thin. And if it's leaving lines, but you're still seeing your color that you're lying, you're laying down, it's too thick. You want a little bit in between. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna roll it just to get that, get that point. Then we're gonna apply it to leather right here and the white of course is going to affect everything that's why it helps to have your palette the same color as your prime that way you can get a good idea of what it's going to look like because then unfortunately you may have to add a little bit of black just to tone down everything or you have to add white to make everything a little bit brighter but I don't like doing that because then you lose the essence of the color it becomes muted or it becomes desaturated and 
as vibrant of color as possible. be able to like actually test it on the palette and see how it runs if it looks almost like uh, like a watercolor that's way too thin and the problem is that like if it's kind of streaking you could just dip in that thinner this is flow agent but basically it acts like thinner. You take that and you can actually kind of brush out the streaks. And that's the other problem, like white is harder to work with. Holster. Now let's get his belt. And we're just gonna dab it all over. And this brown will be probably dark enough that it should work for the silver. Because she wants some of the metal parts to be silver Probably is a it probably contains his shot. You know, the ball bearings that you shoot out of a out of a pistol. Okay, cool. We've got that brown there. And then like maybe get a little more let's see if we can get a little more black and then that'll are a little bit of wood. leather eye patch black she said she wanted it a black leather eye patch so very simple we still got some liquid black here just take and then we'll finish it off with clean that out Thank you. 
It's too wet. It's holding too much water. Let's try that. Let's get that purple color going. Might have, might be dry enough, or it might be wet enough that I can still mix it.
Yeah, he is definitely a rainbow pirate. He's got all the colors of the rainbow. They say two thin coats, and that's yeah, that's definitely, it definitely works. Yes, nice bright purple. paint those lapels that's one thing I like about painting is that I can basically paint whatever part I want We just want it gold colored. If I want it super shinier, yeah, it's exactly super shinier. I'll add some micas, but we don't need micas right now. Oops. 
see that shiny gold. Let's see how it's so far you can't you can't even see it. There we go. Look how shiny that is. Let's get a little more of that. Let's put that right there. one thing I like about acrylic is that like once it dries it actually is very forgiving when it comes to clean up okay and get his cuffs This is why you won't use that black, because you can see how it doesn't perfectly, perfectly make a nice, clean layer. So you gotta, that black kind of buffers it a little bit, kind of creates that negative space that you want in, in Metal Flake.
some spicy bit. I want to. I want to do a little ting. Take a little bit, dude. fine detail, you know, that some people don't think about. Got water on it. I don't want that. That's going to screw everything up. Take that and just color it that. I match straight. It's almost like a like one of those snow snow ermines or something, you know.
go. Let's get some silver. We're going to use a wider brush. We're going to use that same medium wide brush. And we take a little bit of metallic silver. Put this over here. Yeah. Now this, though, we want to add the micas into it. So we got ourselves Stardust Magic. Got it off Amazon. Very fine. I mean, like, this, to me, this don't make me feel worse about the Glitter Herp. Like, there we go. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah. That's beautiful there. Here's the Mica Dust. It's beautiful shit. Of course, this stuff, now I realize what, like, you know... Like the strippers put in their little body stuff it's basically very very fine mica uh, what do I want oh I need a, a scooper and I'm gonna take some very tiny amount this stuff is very good take a little bit pop it in there and mix it That's nice. Just this this mica will give the silver just a little bit more shine. Like you can see that's almost looking like liquid metal. That's crazy. Okay, and we just put that up. Screw this stuff is gonna probably last me forever. Forever. Okay. Let's see if we can load that brush up. And here we go. Let's get that, yeah. <laughs> the second coat later. It's already right, looking good. We'll clean that. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that. And what we'll do now is we can dry brush the face one of this we're going to get another little makeup brush right here uh, I can't write eco tools eco tools that's the one we use uh, my girlfriend got this somewhere I don't remember what store either it's Walgreens or I think it's Walgreens and this, they're semi expensive so we're gonna make this stout color not stoat but he's a otter so we want a like a black and then we're going to uh just lighten it up a little bit excuse me just stretching probably just add the add the white to the black let's take a little bit of this and mix it in here we go that's actually better we just want a really really dark gray we see a very light black do that that's good it's not yeah it's not too black yeah good i don't want to mess with it it's when like you start 
second guessing yourself is when you make mistakes. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna dab it in the sponge. Actually, let's dip, oh dang, dip it in the clean water. Dab it on the sponge. Wipe it on the hand. Good. It's not, not, it's just wet enough that it can just pick up this paint. Take that. Wipe it on your dry palette. You just start dabbing away. Maybe I should have did that first. So we're gonna dab just all over his face. Go back to the palette.
I'm kind of doing a bit of a stippling or sometimes it's a little bit of a pushing motion kind of gets in there because it's not heavily loaded up so you're kind of just like pushing pigment into a spot so he's pretty pretty oh he's got some white spots there go in with last bit let's let's put a little let's fix that uh, eye patch I want to make it golden I want to give it a big old gold eye patch big old gold eye patch Let's make it silver because she wanted she wanted silver
he wants people to see that eye patch. He's like, what you looking at, boy? What you looking at my eye? You looking at my eye, boy? Very subtle, but it's very good. Yeah, he just right there on his chest, she's like, bam. Look at that. I like that red pants now. Everything works together. So now, let is let us apply the terrain. Final bits. And let's see, we need super glue. We're going to use the sticky super glue. There we go. I use this gorilla glue.
works here. We're going to take bigger tweezers. Something like, like that, yeah. We'll put, put the super glue on the thing here. Okay. And then I'm going to put it right back here. Now for the trick. I'll just, I could probably take like a heat gun and then that'll help melt it down.
Okay, and then we just take, keep going. Get that, get that, whoa, Ripley effect. I'm trying to get that. Yeah, I'm gonna sculpt. that's it what do you think it's pretty good I'm pretty happy with it yeah awesome and there we go that's Hercules the fancy pirate sea otter scourge of the seven seas on a mission to get that booty with his fancy boots he's come strutting up on to the land and he gonna find himself some treasure and some booty he gonna find it yeah hey i see you there maybe no i got i gotta tell you something you're gonna either give it to me willingly or i'm gonna take it choice is yours that's basically what he's doing. I don't know. It's like, hey there. Dang, come on. Hey there. How you doing? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, um, enough playing around. So, uh, hope we got. Hope you all enjoyed this. I thought it was really fun painting this, and I'm gonna take a picture of it, send it to my girlfriend, and uh, thanks for joining me. You guys take it easy, alright?